Hi there. Today I'm going to try and demonstrate how to set up the Google Chromecast 2 with a twist in that um, I want to attach it to my AVR or AMP rather than directly into the TV because the AVR I think is going to give you better controls and uh, also a better experience with Spotify. <clears throat> Spotify Premium that is. So first up the equipment I've got on hand is a fairly old TV which is going to become um, really a monitor rather than a smart TV. I just displays a picture on the smart tree elsewhere in the system. This one's a Panasonic Plasma which I'm very loath to get rid of as you can imagine and um, it gets its input from this Marantz AVR and I'm assuming that what I'm going to demonstrate will work for a Sony, Denon, uh, Yamaha or other AVRs as well and also part of the control function will be via the my um, desktop PC you can see the screen of it there um, so just to get into it the way I've got my um, TV attached to the AVR is through the HDMI out input and I'll just show you from the um, this is the user manual that came with Morantz. I'll just enlarge it a bit. And along the top there, you may be able to see if I focus in a bit, the HDMI inputs and outputs. So if I point with the mouse, you can see along there is HDMI in and there is HDMI out. I'll just move it across the screen a bit. So the HDMI out, my TV is connected via this monitor one out with the ARC function which means it's sort of two-way and it correspondingly plugs into the back of the TV via the HDMI one in ARC or sort of bigger by HDMI two um, but now I'm just showing that there's, the connection is by HDMI. So I want the input to be via the HDMI in. So just a matter of finding the, getting the Chromecast and plugging it into one of these sockets which is spare. I did try the game socket first but it failed to find it. So you may have to play a bit with which one works properly. So I ended up putting it on the CBL SAT. So the um, dual Chromecast comes in this box here and basically just matter of taking it out of the box um, putting the power supply in uh, plugging that in and there should be little light flashes on the outside of it and then taking the HDMI connector and plugging it into one of the ports as I'm showing here on the back of the AVR. Now once that's done um, you just want to check that your connections are all correct on your TV and HDMI. So if I focus a bit more on the AVR the AVR and we'll switch that on with the remote AV surround receiver comes up and I've actually the buttons are on the uh, remote as you as you know will correspond to the HDMI input so as I put it into the CBL SAT but I've renamed it Chromecast on the Marant settings so we've got media player which I've reset as a PC input uh, Blu-ray which I've left with the Blu-ray input and then the Chromecast I've got under that the Chromecast I've got under the top button sorry I'm showing you this so you've got CBL SAP renamed as Chromecast Blu-ray game so on and so forth and then on the television 
on the television screen, which again I'll switch on with the remote. Power remote. And on the screen itself, um, you should be able to again select the inputs that you want via the AV button. So you have the AV button. And because you're, that's what comes up on screen. Oops. Make that a bit smaller. All right. So I'll just do that again. So what comes up on screen is um, the names of the various inputs. I've got input from the PC, input from the the AVR, input from the TV, and a media server. So obviously. I want to connect the Chromecast via the AVR to the TV, <clears throat> so I select the AVR input. <clears throat> now once that's done, <coughs> excuse me, um, if you look on the box that came with the Chromecast, and unwrap the box. This is just the, the outer casing that just comes off. It's how to set up written inside it. And what you need to do then is just key in chromecast.com slash setup on the PC and then it will do the rest for you and there's other sites that show you how to do that. Um, basically you'll come up with the code that says um, it's found the device and then after that it will come up with um, looking for your wireless network once you confirm that it's seen the device properly um, again with that I had to try it a couple of times before it found the device um, but it did find it so I ended up with the Chromecast in the back of the AVR and be able to see the Chromecast screen as I've got here on my TV. Okay. So the Chromecast function is just another bit, another output from my AVR. So if I just click through other functions on the AVR, so I've got things like the um, where's the TV, for example. So TV goes with the AVR. And oh, I should, I'll then have to obviously select the TV function on the remote to. Oops. On this occasion, I'm going to say the wee Helen, a spirited bigger. So I'll go back to the CBL Chromecast. There we go. Well, it's already to play. Now on the PC, which I'm controlling it from, I'll need to do this via Google Chrome. So I'll need to go into the Google uh, there. And you go to the apps function. on the top left and go to the web store and then rather than to search all the way through just type in what you're looking for which is a Google Chrome app Google oh, Chrome sorry cast and I've spelt it wrong but never mind I seem to have found it um, so here's the extension you want. Make sure it's offered by Google.com, and it's not sort of um, some other somebody else's version. And uh, I've already added it, obviously. 
And what happens when you add that, you'll get this box coming up on the right hand side. And what that allows you to do is then cast the picture on your PC to your television. So if I can get both in frame, I'll cast this. Right, and there I've got a replica of the, T of the PC on the TV. So similarly, if I want to go to um, the Netflix app, right, I'll get the Netflix program coming up. If you've got a subscription, of course, which mine's lapsed. So that's fairly easily done. Now I just remark that um, if its TV is older and only got RCA input, it still might, might work so you can retain your dollars in your TV screen and basically have your HDMI in on the Chromecast with, with RCA out to the television. I haven't tried it but it might be worth a go if you haven't got any HDMI inputs on your TV. Right. Um, now the thing I did, I did like, or did want to try, was the Spotify, which is quite interesting, because on Spotify, um, if I go through to, let's see if you can see that, on the right hand side, it's got options settings and under here it has open devices menu and if you look down you can't it hasn't got the Google cast on it which is a bit of a pain so if you choose your song Let's turn the volume down a bit. Right, so it's playing away, but you can't hear it because it hasn't found Chromecast. So this is where you need your smartphone. Find the and I've downloaded the oh, Giblecast Um, onto the phone from this from the Play Store. Um, I'm actually looking for uh, Spotify. There's Spotify. And down the bottom here, I might press the wrong button there. Spotify. Right you see connect to a device and on this one because I've got Play Store Google Apps loaded here um, Google Chromecast loaded connects by and suddenly bingo we have Spotify on so it's a two stage process Let's mute that. It's a two-stage process to get Spotify on your Hi-Fi system. So you can choose it on your there, but then you have to actually go to the smartphone to activate it. But once activated, as you can see down the bottom of that screen there, is the Chromecast. So once you've done that then you're quite free to use your PC to go and select other songs so I can go to uh, say Tony Joe White's new one and up it comes 
I unmute it. Oops. And away we go. Right, well I hope that's helped with what you're trying to achieve. And just on the Google Chromecast website, it does say you can attach via the AVR, but it's not a supported function, so um, if it doesn't work for you, then just plug it into the TV. Anyway, enjoy your new music.